Hello everyone, welcome to Owl Creek Homestead. I'm Cody and this is my son Dayton, little five-year-old giggle box. Today we're going to tour you around our property for our first video, show you our goats and our chickens, and let you see what we're working on right now and all of our projects. This is the back of our property behind my house. We're going to end up fencing down this hillside here. If you can see it on the video, it's a steep steep hillside goes down to the creek and we're going to fence this whole back area up and around across my septic area back over and through there for the goats later this year <laughs> This is one of our pastures that we have below my house. It goes up a hill over here towards my barn, down over. We also have some logs and stuff that we're waiting to split, probably for next year's heating season. As you can see, a lot of this isn't grown up yet with any sort of grass or weeds. I just seeded this this morning, if you can see it all there. I ended up putting some orchard grass in here, hoping that that will take off. Maybe it'll be good for the goats. All right, now we're back here on another one of our lots that we haven't got fenced in yet. And we have our fearless, as I call her, our community dog. She kind of runs around the entire property and, and kind of goes anywhere she wants to go. Yeah, and jumps. And yep, she runs and jumps. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to end up fencing this off back here. I do believe it's just right under half of an acre. It goes back into the woods there. And by the way, so you know, these are my grandma's chickens. Yep, these are part of our chickens that we have. We have these that are laying now, and we have, I think, another 15 right now, small chicks that we just purchased from Tractor Supply. We're going to be expanding where we have our chickens currently, um, over into this area that borders along the creek also. And over there, if you can see, is another goat pen. And then another one back over there. And right on the other side of the chickens is our bucks that we keep. We have two bucks, a Spanish Kiko cross, and a Nigerian dwarf that we'll get over there and we'll show you a little closer in a minute. Here's our Kiko Spanish weather and our Kiko Spanish buck. He is just over a year old. Um, he was, these two were actually given to us by my dad's friend. And that's what got us into the goating adventures. Um, and now we have, what, 11 goats? Okay. And behind this Kiko is our little Nigerian dwarf registered buck. He's a good looking guy, I really like him. I think we have 11 goats, I don't know. Hey, yeah. oh, you wanna play seesaw? Really? So this is their pen, some things for them to climb on. They love jumping up on the table. They're a new hay feeder that we just built. Put a whole bale of hay in the top of it and it just self feeds to the bottom as they yes as they eat the hay so we can not have to worry about feeding them hay for a while and they go inside the barn right there through that small hole which i have to make bigger because they are outgrowing that pretty quickly yeah they are ed just came up to me and and he, and I was like, do you want to play seesaw? And then I went like back and forth and then he kept on putting his hoof on there. Yeah. This is where we keep our does for the winter. They actually, we just had two kid earlier this last week and they have access to come outside over into this small lot here by our greenhouse and over next to our garden. Here's Carrie, one of our little Nigerian does. All of our Nigerians are registered. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. She was like, what is, what is that? <laughs> this is Shadow, another little Nigerian doe. That's where she likes to hide. 
Yeah, from people. And Mercy back there. She's a Nigerian also. And there's Chocolate. She is a Kiko, purebred Kiko, that and we're hoping is pregnant, but uh, is not nearly as big as the other two got around this time. And that one is, that one's, I mean, that one is. Use their names. Mercy is that one's. Shadow. Mercy is Shadow's. Mom. Yep, so say it all over again. Mercy is Shadow's mom. And Carrie, too. Yep. Mercy is Shadow and Carrie's mom. That's I'm not right. up to. <laughs> yep. And here, this is Daisy, our Kiko mama. She is purebred. She is not registered. Daddy. And this little jumping guy right there is Patrick. He was born on St. Patty's Day. He was our first kid that we had born on our small farm. And he is, his father is Kiko Spanish Cross, and like I said, his mom is pure Kiko. Daddy, the baby. baby. Our other baby that we've had born is to Zena, our brown doe right there. She is also registered. We picked her up. Um, actually, at a guy that was selling boars. He had her. He didn't need her on the farm. Um, as you can see back there, she had a full pure black little buckling, actually both are bucklings, Patrick and Thunder back there laying down. They're both big boys. Patrick was born at, born at eight pounds, six ounces, and Thunder was born at nine pounds, three ounces. Hi, Zena. You wanna eat the camera? Daddy, can I help me pet the babies? Yeah, you can pet the babies now. Zena does not like being touched. She is not a very friendly goat at all, even to other goats. She likes to beat on everyone and um, has tried beating on Patrick a little bit, so we keep her locked up and away from everyone else. But Pop says to play with him. Yeah, play with him. <laughs> Can you pick him up? Uh, no. Yeah, you can. Oh, I can't. He's wet. Come here, Patrick. <laughs> you want to see Thunder? Yeah. He's sleeping pretty good right now, isn't he? Thunder. Hey, buddy. Look up. Daddy. Come here, Patrick. Let's show Patrick. Here, you want to hold him? Yeah, I just want to pet him. Daddy, is he in Niger? Is, is he? Nope, he's... Ah, uh, he peed on me. <laughs> he peed on me. <laughs> Don't wipe it on me. <laughs> he peed on you. Alright, you ready to go see Thunder? Yeah. Dayton hasn't got to hold Thunder yet, so he has been looking forward to this. And Penny. He's used to me already. Yeah. I'm telling the baby. Okay, watch out. Let me get the gate opened all the way up here. So I can go in. Yeah. Walk yet? You know how to walk yet? Yes. You know how to walk? Do I play him too? Yeah, go ahead. Aww. Like, he's already used. Both of these babies were born and up walking, trying to drink within 15 minutes. Mama's got them cleaned up good. Didn't waste any time on them. So we were really happy with that for being first time kidders. Ow. Hold on to him, buddy. I can't. He's, he's really fast. This is Thunder. Yeah, he's kind of crazy. Like I said, he was born at nine pounds, three ounces. And he's heavier than me. No, I'm he's heavy. not heavier than you. Daddy, 
Yep. I'm going to say something. What do you want to say? I'm going to say, well, what, what did, what did, what day did he get born? Friday. And he got born Friday, March 20th? I think it was. Yeah. And, and, and he was born March 20th. That's right. Good job, bud. I remember. Yep. Go ahead. I can't. I can't do it. Can it help? Here's our chicks that we recently got, like I said earlier, from Tractor Supply. That's where all of our chickens have came from so far. We've had pretty good luck with them. We get roughly about 16 to 18 eggs every day. So we're happy with that. Looking forward to getting these old enough to start laying because we have people wanting to buy eggs faster than we can produce them. This is fun starting our video. Yeah, it is. Let's close this. Then right here is the garden that we will be getting planted soon. We've mixed a lot of our compost from last year in it. Got it tilled up. Once it dries up again, finally, we will get it tilled again. And hopefully, in a few weeks, get to start planting some stuff. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Come on. Oh, thanks, Chocolate. Hey, everyone. Thanks for sticking around today. We appreciate it. We're going to have some more content coming out pretty quick. We are in this quarantine, so we've got time to make some videos. Go ahead, buddy. Please like and subscribe. That's right. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.